Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free remote desktop tool that you could use called Aero Admin. So when I say remote desktop, you could use this over your uh, local area network and also over the uh, internet like TeamViewer. And also TeamViewer, I noticed lately, they're starting to crack down on uh, the free account. So if you use it on too many computers, they'll start to cut you off and trying to make you buy a license. So there is a free version of this, like I said, but it's, you know, it's kind of limited compared to the pay for version. So there's different versions. So if you go to the website, you can see there's pro business and corporate, you know, each has their own uh, features there. But we're just going to be showing you the free one today. So once I have it downloaded, it's just an executable, nothing to install. All right, so now I want to allow remote control. So I'm going to copy this uh, ID here and go over to my other computer. Run the same program. All right, so paste it in there. So this is the ID from the Windows 11 computer right here. So I need the pin 3755. But first you need to click on connect before you put in the pin. You could pick your mode too, remote control, view only, or file manager. The file manager option will let you copy files back and forth, but that's not supported on the free version. Then you could even have like a little address book here, but you'd have to activate it. We're not going to worry about that now. Let's click on connect. Put in the pin from the other computer. So now we have to go back to the other client and approve the uh, connection. So I confirm, blah, blah, blah. You could blacklist it if you want, and then you could check which uh, features you want to allow the remote computer to do. View the screen, mouse and keyboard control, clipboard synchronization, we just copy and paste uh, between uh, each computer and access to files on this PC. Click accept. Okay, so now we go back over here. Hopefully this makes sense with the uh, back and forth. All right, so now I am on the Windows 10 computer controlling the Windows 11 computer. So if I, let's say, open up this Word document and I go back to the Windows computer here, you can see that the Word document is open. And then you have some options up here for some favorites. Screen recording, screen capture, show the Aero admin, reboot in safe mode, restart computer, log off the user, auto lock remote computer, lock remote computer, services. Let's see what that does, for example. You see it just opens the services on the remote computer. Looks like computer management, control panel, uh, send system keys, send control delete. So here's the file manager. That's disabled in the free version. Then you have the sound, change the resolution, image settings, scaling mode, and so on. So you can see it's uh, very similar to uh, TeamViewer. It does the same kind of thing. And like I said, the uh, basic version is free. You don't get all the features, but you know, it gets you enough to you know, do your remote control like you do with TeamViewer. So now if you want to stop, you could you know, go back over to the computer that's being connected to here. I could just click on stop if I want to kick them out. Now if I go back over to here, the remote PC, close the connection. All right, so hopefully that made sense when I was switching back and forth between the two computers. It might be a little confusing. So I will put a link in the description where you could download this, and then you could just try it out. Just remember you have to have the executable on every computer you want to remote control, and there's nothing to install. Just run it. Give them the uh, ID and the uh, pin, and then you'll be good to go. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.